good morning dear students today uh, we are going to begin a new topic but from the same chapter smart charts now today's topic is pie chart as you have guessed already pie as we know is a circular um, what to say snacks so here a pie chart means a circular graph and thus each part of the circle or the circle is divided into different sectors and each represents a part of the whole the definition of the pie chart is given over here a type of graph in which a circle is divided into sectors and each represents a proportion of the whole so suppose if before beginning our sum we take a close look at this circle only so we see that there are many parts in this circle and all of them together constitute the circle now you may find here angles and percentages so do not get confused what i want to say is there would never be any calculation based sum but only observation based sum from pie chart am i clear to you calculation based sums it might be there only for addition subtraction purpose and as you add suppose if you add 54 and 90 144 similarly if you are asked to add 54 degree and 90 degree that means 144 degree here no basic concept regarding angles or percentage is to be needed whenever needed i'll just supply them so that you do not face any difficulty in solving the sums here only if comparison is there you know that for comparison we use subtraction and if summation is there we use addition so keeping in mind these two things we'll just move into it and as i told you these would be only observation based sums now suppose you have been given a pie chart and it is a distribution of a man's salary monthly salary so we need to plan everything uh, when we get our salary or before we get our salary so that uh, during the month we do not face any kind of problem so these are the various sectors that it has been divided let me read out uh, 180 degree in savings 90 degree in food 54 degree in rent Uh, 27 degree in education, 13 degree in entertainment, 14 degree in transport, 18 degree in clothing, and 36 degree in miscellaneous. So, in different sectors, his monthly salary is being divided, and you have to just find out or answer the questions based upon them. Before you begin this, my advice would be separately you write down what are the values. Suppose you make a tabular chart like this. Let me show you how I'll do that. you make a tabular chart like this of this form on uh, one of the areas you will just mark out items and here you will just write degrees do not get confused if you are writing it okay it is plain observation or either addition or subtraction you will find it more interesting than the two topics that you have already done now let us write down a few of them before beginning the sum my suggestion is that you please do it savings food rent let me write them first savings food and rent because they are in um, larger uh, proportion savings i'll write over here next i'll write food over here uh, and uh, next i'll write rent over here keep in mind students that whenever you are making this tabular chart your work as well as the work of the examiner is also becoming easy your work in the sense that if you make the chart then you will be easily able to uh, get the values so that uh, you can solve your sum easily and without any facing any uh, problematic situations so let me put here 108 degree for food it was 90 degree and here i put uh, for the rent 54 degree so i am showing you only the three uh, sectors present over here Let's see how you will make it but my advice is that you make all of them do not just limit yourself to three because i have to uh, there are so many sectors as you can see uh, education transport clothes uh, clothing then uh, entertainment uh, and miscellaneous okay i am writing all education entertainment transport clothing maintenance miscellaneous so i'm writing all in this manner you make a chart 
education entertainment transport miscellaneous and another one clothing and miscellaneous now if you come over here we write the education 27 entertainment 13 transport 14 18 37 27 13 14 so whenever uh, this chart based questions are there first of all first thing to do is make the chart 18 36 in this manner first you make the chart so these are the things given now as you can see very easily you can see if had it been a number this 108 is greater than 90 90 is greater than 54 54 is greater than 27 27 is greater than 13 13 is greater than 14 14 is greater than 18 and 18 is less than 36 as usual we know that so here regarding angles or other things we do not need any concept basically on the arithmetic concept that is whichever is greater number we'll do our sums because as per our class we are going to do the sums now let us uh, move to the sums now which are the sectors in which investment is maximum and minimum investment means we supply the money or we put the put forward the money in which of the sectors if we go to the man salary as you can see his savings is the maximum and in minimum is entertainment savings and entertainment so maximum investment is on savings and minimum investment on entertainment so in this mode as you see is an observation based sum here no calculation is required till now so observation based the maximum investment is on savings and minimum investment is on entertainment now question number b is a fill up investment in dash is double of that in rent while investment in dash is half of that in rent now regarding rent uh, i want to tell you that the rent here is 54 degree and i have to find i have to find the investment in such a sector which is double of that in the rent i come over here see the rent is 54 degree if i double it 54 multiplied by 2 i get 1080 so about which sector am i talking savings so first option for this fill up would be savings and why investment in dash is half of that in rent now if i divide the value 54 by 2 half that means either multiplied by 1 by 2 or divided by 2 so i got 27 degree so in which sector as is am i getting uh, that half value the education sector so the education so for the first blank the savings and for second blank it would be education now if we read out together investment in savings is double of that in rent while investment in education is half of that in rent i think you have got the idea what we are doing now we move to the question 3 which is the final one for us 
the sum of investment i think you have uh, become habituated with these types of sums because uh, in the previous paragraphs also we have done them okay the sum of investment in dash and dash is equal to investment in education now let us see what is the investment in education 27 degree now how can we get the value uh, combining two such other sectors that add up to 27 if you take a close look let me change the doodle color uh, now if you take the close look see that entertainment and transport if you add this to value 13 plus 14 how much are you getting 27 degree so it is equal to the investment in education so the investment in sum of investment entertainment and transport is equal to the investment in education now we go to that board see entertainment and transport it has been mentioned the sum of investment in entertainment and transport is equal to investment in education while sum of investment dash and dash is equal to rent now we take a close look rent we know investment is 54 degree now how to get that see that if we add up these two values clothing and miscellaneous add them up you are going to get 54 degree so investment in clothing and miscellaneous is equal to the investment in this sector that is rent now we come over here investment in clothing and miscellaneous is equal to investment in rent now if we read out together the sum of investment in entertainment and transport is equal to investment in education while sum of investment in clothing and miscellaneous is equal to investment in rent so these are the pie chart based type of questions that you need to answer so keep in mind that these are not very difficult to answer they are very easy only what i said observation or addition subtraction based sum whatever may be it it may be percentage or uh, the degree you have to put the symbol and addition subtraction you don't need to calculate many thing okay only addition and subtraction okay after solving it uh, whenever the video is published on which day it would be published we send it to your uh, respective teachers for correction thank you students